Remember that the customer is always right and always first. Even when they treat you badly, though, be careful with that. Be careful because you don't want them to talk. Ramza, my name is Hello. Mike. Hello, how are you? I'm very well. How are you? I am also good, thank you. And I am in London today. Where are you? Uh, I am in India, Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir. And that is northern India? Yes, correct. Ah, good. My my uh, geography is getting a little better. <laughs> okay. So, uh, can you can you hear me clearly? I can hear you very clearly. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, yes, okay. Great. Thank you. And so you wish to look at a uh, business English. This is correct? Yes, correct. Okay. Do you have a specific conversation that you have in mind? Maybe an interview or a meeting or is it just to be speaking at a very formal level? Uh, yes, basically I am interested to uh, get to know that if I am doing any meeting with my clients, then what are the important things uh, which I need to keep, keep in mind? And even you can also give me a demo of that. And yeah. uh, I, I will be giving you the reply according to your questions. So in that way, I will be getting the practical uh, solution of that specific skill. Okay. So in the um, so that I'm not interrupting you while you talk in the chat box, I have just put there. You have said I am interested too, okay. and I'm making the correction interested in. Okay. So you mean that I should uh, keep it interested too? Uh, to change it to interested in. I am interested in learning. Okay, I am interested in learning. Okay, so I will put little corrections like that into the chat box so that I'm not interrupting the conversation so much so that we can focus on the business English. Is that okay? Yes, sure. Wonderful. So tell me, if I am your client, what are my, what are my questions? What, what, what do you do? Hello, Katie. Uh, today I am doing... Uh, some tasks which you uh, allocated me and I'm trying my best to solve that specific problem which you gave me uh, to complete in a specific time. So uh, maybe I will be getting any trouble so I will let you know if I will have any issue in that. Okay, so, you're, so what I'm hearing is that um, you're going to be working on a task to solve a problem that I have given you and I have asked for it in a specific time. And you were saying, I will let you know if I have any problems at all. Yes, correct. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. Um, You're welcome. Can I help you in any way, do you think? Uh, yes. Uh, you are considering yourself as a client, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, basically, uh, I have needed some extra time if I will have to make it more productive because there are certain bugs which may be in the task. So I will have needed some extra time to do the testing properly so that at the end you will not face any problem when you are uh, providing that product to your end customers. Wonderful. So Ramzan, you might say instead, um, if you're asking for additional time, a good way of asking for it to say is um, we have a couple of options so that you are giving the client a choice. I can complete this in the time that you have given me, but I would really like to be able to um, take out the bugs to save you time in the long run for your end client. It will take me an extra seven days. Okay. Yes, so that is correct. So you are giving your client choice. They can have what they've asked for in the time they have asked for it. Of course you can deliver that, but you would like to do a better job. But in order to do so, I would like some extra time. Yes, yes. That is important because sometimes when we uh, give this type of suggestion to our clients and they actually become more negative, they feel that uh, we are taking some extra time because we are uh, demanding some extra money. Ah, okay. Yes. Hmm. So, what are your choices then? If you, uh, you must ask for extra time because you're not going to complete it properly. So, your choices are for the client. What, what, what are you left with? If you're not, if you can't ask for extra time, 
Uh, yes, yes. Actually, I just uh, yeah. gave you the gave you the uh, yeah. uh, clue that uh, sometimes some clients are uh, just thinking in that way. Yeah. yeah. And what can, what can you do to help them see that it's not just about money for you? Uh, yes. Uh, basically, uh, mm, I give them the demo and I uh, just point out those specific. Uh, uh, important aspects which if they are losing then how much uh, how many problems they will be facing in future Wonderful. So obviously I, I, I need to give them the clarity so that uh, they get to know that uh, this is the important aspect if we are taking care of yeah and so tell me Ramzan who are your who are your clients normally are they um, American English English speaking Indian completely different uh, yes, basically, I am I am a uh, software engineer, so developing websites and mobile apps. So I mm -hmm. have clients in uh, US, Australia, and Netherlands. So okay. uh, th there are some clients who are not even uh, known about English uh, language, and still I am trying to communicate with them. Like uh, those uh, uh, yesterday, I had one client from Hong Kong. Oh wow! So, okay. Yeah, she was not much aware about English, but still, uh, she could able to make me understand that specific problem. And just uh, yeah. yes, uh, at the end, I could able to understand and try to uh, try to solve that problem. Okay, wonderful. So, and do you do this on a large scale for a company, or is it for yourself, individual? Do you have your own business? Uh, yes, uh, basically, I am working as a freelancer. So. Uh -huh. If I will have some extra task, then I give to my friends who are also developers and designers. Yep. So they are also helping me uh, in that. Okay. What is what is going in my mind is maybe how do you sell your service? And is there a way of building in the additional parts already to the service that you sell? Uh, yes, sometimes I uh, fix the bugs in the websites and mobile apps and sometimes I take the complete project and uh, then after develop from scratch. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you've got a range, uh, a range on offer. Yes, yes. I think, unfortunately, it might be that you have a client that feels that value for money is a strong belief for yes. them. And they feel that they have been sold this and now in order to get what they want is this. And whether you are a freelance or whether you work for a business, there are some people who just feel that it wasn't transparent. Yes, yes. So for you, I guess it's just about being as clear as possible at all times. Like if you want this, I can do this. If you want this, I can do this. Do you, in the, in the example, did you agree? So, uh, am I, are you coming to me to ask for extra time because we have already agreed a time? Uh, yes, basically, whatever you discussed right now. Uh, so, uh, I, I did a business coaching. Yeah. So, in that, I learned that customer is everything. So, we need to give the service to the customer at the best level. Yes. So, I always keep that approach and try to convince any uh, strong client as well. <laughs> by yeah. providing some extra services uh, because sometimes you already told that uh, uh, there are some clients who are not but very much clear and they are much focused on the money they are spending so mm. at that moment i tried to deal with uh, politeness but uh, at the end uh, when uh, they are taking some extra efforts from me and after finishing that specific project they re they uh, realize themselves that yes i did something extra for them amazing yes okay so i think your conversation is good then i think that you are able to say actually i i am able to i wish to let you know that i can produce this and then perhaps after i can do that is there another example you would like to practice uh, yes, uh, one more thing I am interested to know about is like, for example, uh, we are doing some chattings with the clients. And as you know that while chatting, we don't have any type of expressions to uh, share with them. So 
there are some sentences where we uh, we have two type of meanings. Uh -huh. I mean, sure. may, maybe it depends on the situation in which the client is. So mm -hmm. uh, we are interested to make him feel better. Okay. But we couldn't able to express that specific uh, word in that sentence. So how you what you suggest at that time? So do you have an example of this the the dual meaning? Uh, yes. For example, uh, there are uh, my clients and uh, who are having my pending amount to pay. So this is the positive point that I am uh, telling to them that please send me the remaining amount. I am waiting for them. So meanwhile, I am also thinking that if I am saying to them again and again, they will feel bad. So how I should manage this situation? And you say you've had business coaching. No, no, no. Sorry. I am providing uh, software services. No, no, sorry. I mean, you personally have had coaching with the business because the first thing I want to ask you is, are you doing this because you love building websites and mobile apps or are you doing this because you want to make money? No, no, no. Both the, there is, these are both the things. Okay. Because this is my profession and yeah. if I am uh, putting efforts somewhere, so then obviously I have needed some uh, amount. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So the reason I asked that question is because I am also freelance and I am a coach and I have been struggling with the same thing. Like I want to ask for money and then when people haven't paid, I'm in the same place as you in terms of asking for it. Having done some searching in my head, I'm thinking, well, Actually, they've asked for a service. I've provided the service in terms of I've put the effort in, I've done the work. And so it's okay to ask for the money. So my question to you is, how would you feel if somebody sent you an email that you or, or a message that you had sent your client? Okay, you are talking about that if I am the client of someone and then how they, I will interact with it. Yes, basically, this is my <laughs> straightforwardness that whenever I uh, give the task to others, then I always uh, pay them amount uh, at the time when they are finishing their task. So I don't have that type of, uh, I mean, uh, fluctuation in that thing. No, that's okay. So I would suggest like, if I could kindly ask, I, so I would say, and you must find your own voice because if you just repeat what I say, it, it's not going to seem genuine from Ramza. Does that make yes, sense? Yes. So I would yes. say, if I could only kindly ask you to settle the remaining amount on your account, that rhymes, which would suggest the, uh, the, the, uh, or settle the remaining account or settle the remaining, um, or the uh, or, or um, the outstanding amount. And so uh, yes, you're just yes, asking yes. kindly if they've done it. Uh, yes, Is yes, that yes. what you've done already? Yes, yes, yes. These are uh, the things that we are. We, I was expecting. Yes. Uh, basically, I was not having a uh, straightforward sentence to make. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah. When I try to ask to them uh, regarding the money, then they become frustrated that we will be sending this week. We will be sending uh, in the next week. And okay. uh, yeah, please don't bother about the money at all. <laughs> it's, it's easy when you are a big business. Perhaps then you, in the contracting stage, you outline very clearly, I must be paid to do the work, um, maybe half up, do you go for half up front and then there's a remaining amount? If they want their product from you, their website or their mobile app, they must pay, right? Yes, yes. Basically, uh, being a developer, I have also few uh, things uh, which I can keep uh, as a secret. And if someone is not, uh, I mean, loyal to me, then obviously they, uh, they will lose. Remember that the customer is always right and always first, even when they treat you badly though, be careful with that. Be careful because you don't want them to talk. Ramsey, yes, yes. 
Our yes. time is running out. I hope that's been helpful. I'm happy to have further conversation with you to help you with the conversation. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.